Hi everyone, I'm Natalie and welcome back to my channel. Here you'll find videos all about using technology to become the best online teacher you can be. So in today's video, we're going to dive into games and games you can play over Zoom. Games that are easily, you're able to play over Zoom with your online students. So I have five games for you. So let's jump in. Number one is Jeopardy. So I've created the this game template Jeopardy um, to play with my students. It is a great review game. And if you are interested or really want this template for yourself, I do have it linked down below. Go ahead, grab this free template and you can um, plug in your own answers, plug in your own questions, and you are ready to go. This game is in Google Slides. So how I use it with my students is that I pull it up and depending on how many students I have, they're each individual or split up into teams and just explain how to play with them. These are the categories. These are your points. The higher the points, the harder the problem will, will be if you set yours up like that. And then all you have to do is click on the, the, the question they want and then have them have the question right here, have them solve it and then click to see the answer. And if they got it right, I keep track of points on a whiteboard and then we add them up at the very end. It is so much fun to have it. Um, they love playing this game. It's a great game to work together on because students can um, collaborate. They can figure out the answer together. This is a good game to have like harder questions or questions that they don't need to know necessarily so fast because you can give them that time to think about it and work together. So that is Jeopardy. My students have loved it. And again, if you want the, the free template, just get that link down in the description box and start playing it in your class today. Game number two is a game board. Just a simple game board. So I've created a game board. This one also created in Google Slides. And I love game boards because they're so versatile. I don't have to create a game board specific for a class. You can create several different game boards so you have a variety and use it in whatever class you want because you have the questions somewhere else. They're not directly on the game board. So here's one I've created in Google Slides. Let me show you. This one I made super fast. It took me 20 minutes to make. So it was awesome. And I'm able to use it in any class I want. I let students choose their own character off to the side. And then we roll the dice. And depending on their role is what I am moving their character. I've added in those fun elements where if you land here, then you get to move forward too. Or if you land here, then you get that shortcut, follow the arrow. Those are always fun to add in into a board game. And... <laughs> Students are thrilled to play a board game. It's simple and they love it. One thing I found when playing board games with my students is um, depending on my class size, it kind of depends on how I play. So if I have a full class with at least six students, I have one question, everyone answers. That way we can answer questions just a little bit faster and students aren't waiting for the next turn. Um, and then if I have a small student then or smaller class, then I can give the students their questions individually. Game number three is called Blue Kit. And this is actually a site on the computer. You'll have to create an account. You can do that for free. Um, just go to bluekit.com. And this game is, has to be one of my students' top favorite games. It is great for reviewing um, anything you have taught where students know and they don't have to think about the answer too much, but they are familiar with all the questions you're asking. So it's great to review either at the end of class, something you just taught, played at the end of class. It's a lot of fun. So let me show you what Blue Kit looks like. Blue Kit is awesome in the sense that you can create your own set of questions or um, so you can create your own. Let me show you. Create your own. Um, add the title, description, fill out all this information and then 
create your own questions. That way it can be exactly what your class needs and it will cover exactly what you've taught. Or you can go to discover and search for um, blue kits that other teachers have created already and see if you can find um, something that fits your needs. So let's just type in addition. I'm, let's see if this one, I can click on it and then review it and see, oh, this one has addition and subtraction in it. Is that going to be what my class needs? Um, this one has up to three digits. Is my class there already? So completely review all of these questions and then you can um, look at the answers as well. And then ready to play it, you're going to click host. And this is where the fun begins. So there's so many games to choose from here. And if you just click on a game, it gives you a quick des description of the game. And they are so fun. So students are able to play this game together, but not be so concerned on the other, other student's score. Um, and they don't know who's winning till the very end. So some of the games, um, you're able to like take money from each other or swap or kind of steal from each other or, or whatnot. But maybe you have one student who's just not answering as many questions because it takes them a longer time. That doesn't matter with this game and they still have a chance to win depending on how, how the game plays out. They still have a chance to win. Um, and not all the games are like that. Some of them, um, you, it's you, like a, there's a fishing game, for example, you are just fishing and you want the most points possible, but you're not taking points from anyone. You're not stealing from anyone. So there's a good variety in, in those games you play and students will log on with a code and they get a type or type in a nickname and they get to choose their character to play. It is so much fun. My students always ask for this one. So this is um, Blue Kit. If you want a full tutorial on how to set up your own Blue Kit game, you can watch this video right here and we'll keep going. So what are we on for? Game number four right now. This one is called Kahoot. And this one is another game on the computer similar to Blue Kit, but different. So with Kahoot, again, sign up with your free account, kahoot.com, um, and you are able to create your own question sets right here, um, creating the K Kahoot, and then type in, oh, you can start with a template or create your own from scratch and insert um, pictures to go along with it. You can insert um, videos, add in your question and add in your answers so you can make it exactly what you need for your class. Or this one also gives you the option to search cahoots that have already been made. You can click on um, review the questions, review the answers, see if that will do what it needs to for your class. And then you can click start and you can play a live game. Students will enter a pin again. So we'll click classic mode, click start, and then you'll get the game pin that students need to join. It is a lot of fun. With this one, um, students do not choose their own character to play with, and it is based on time. So students, at the end of each question, they'll see who on the leaderboard where everyone is, and it's based on answering the question correct and how fast you can answer it is where they're going to rank in this, um, in the game Kahoot. So it's very competitive and for students who like that competitive and have that edge and um, like that, the race and a race against the clock and against each other, this game is perfect. And it is a good game to review anything you've taught. So you've taught your lesson and in the lesson you can play a quick Kahoot game and that is so much fun. And our last game, game number five is called Kaboom. This one is a lot of fun, good for a review because it is a quick game. You can play at the beginning, the end of the lesson because it is super fast. So to play, I have in here, I have popsicle sticks, whoops, that have 
multiplication facts on them because they need to be questions that students can answer very fast. So they could be addition facts, subtraction facts, letters, maybe you're learning letters, colors, um, numbers, letter sounds, anything that students need to know fast. So to play, I give each student a turn. We just go in the circle or the order how I see them on my Zoom screen. And I pull out a popsicle stick for them. And uh, I tell them the problem because sometimes you can see it's a little blurry holding it up. So I go nine times one and they answer nine. Okay, they get it right. So I'm going to put it in a pile for them on my desk. And then we'll go to the next student. They have nine times seven, 63. They got it right. Put it on the desk. Keep going. And then after five minutes, we'll see who has the most popsicle sticks. But there's the catch, the kaboom. I have in here two popsicle sticks that say kaboom on them. You don't want this. So if it's my turn, it comes around back to me and I pull this one out. Kaboom. Oh no. I just lost all of my popsicle sticks or all of my points and they go back in the cup. And we keep going five minutes and see who has the most popsicle sticks left at the end. It is a lot of fun. Students love it because um, they don't want to get that kaboom stick, but it's a lot of fun. So that is a good game to play either at the beginning, end of your lesson because it's so short, so fast, it's five minutes long, and it doesn't take a lot of prep time to set up. So there are five games that I absolutely love to play with my Zoom students, my online students, and I try to incorporate a game in all of my classes I teach. Games are highly engaging. They're just going to draw your students in. They're really going to be learning and having fun while you play a game. So um, if you are interested in creating and learning more about how to gamify your lessons, I do want you to um, keep watch and I have a waitlist open for my gamify your, gamify your Lessons with Google Slides course. It is a whole digital course I am creating dedicated to um, Google Slides and how to use Google Slides to gamify your lessons. And the first two games I showed you, the Jeopardy game and the game board, I did create in Google Slides. But in my course, not only will I, will I teach you how to and show you how to create games with Google Slides, but we'll also cover what makes an engaging lesson. What elements should you have in your lesson to make it highly engaging that you have your students um, listening and participating the whole time? You will get several game templates in, in your game and or for you to use ready-made drag and drop or type in your questions and answers and you're good to go with those game templates. And I'll also show you how to create um, a virtual field trips, which are so fun to have in your lesson. And that's where you can take your students on a virtual field trip or theme your lessons around space or an amusement park and actually bring those elements into your lesson. It's a lot of fun. So if you are interested, wanting to know more, just send me a message, email me um, at the ethicwizard at gmail.com and join the waitlist. Link is down in the description box. Join that waitlist. And I am excited to have you there and to continue to use games in the online classroom. So watch out for next week's video and I'll see you then. Bye everyone.